So the final race of the day is the second chase. I have to say I've enjoyed this mixed car today. It's made a nice change. And two and three quarter miles this time. A top one is Crackled Rolex Cherry Motown Man and Yorkshire Rock for David Hooley. Bob's Number for Darren Thompson. Significant Craig Allen. Roundabout Martin Leedham. Wild Neat for Craig Allen. Caesar's Wife Martin Leedham. And Graham Clutterbox got the bottom pair. Belmore Stone and Bobby XL. So ten of them this time on the first of today's jump races without the rain, I think. And called in, standing quietly. Away they go then. And Belmore Stone, a very short run too. The first leads over it. They're all safely over the first, despite that very short run to it as they come past the big screen there, which is advertising where we are. Foss Lass in Carmarthenshire for a nice day of mixed card racing. It's been pretty good today. Two hurdle races. This the second of the two chases and four on the flat. A little bit of something for everybody. And Belmore Stone is in the lead. I'm not quite sure when the next trials day is, but I'm sure it won't be too far away. And um, Belmore Stone is in front from Significance. Bob's number and crackled virtually in a line. In fact, with the exception of that leader and just about Caesar's wife at the back, it's almost the rest of them in a line, isn't it? But Belmore Stone is showing the way towards the second of the 19 fences that they've got to negotiate in this two and three quarter mile chase as they all skip over it nicely including the back marker Caesar's wife and Belmore Stone leading by three to significant second crackled his third and Bob's numbers fourth as they get over that next one a mistake there by significance has seen that one drop back significantly into the pack but it's Belmore Stone showing the way as they get over this fourth which is a ditch and no John Morgan horse in this one and you can tell the pace is considerably slower than it is when he's got one of his flying greys in Belmore Stone took a bit of a liberty with that one and got away with it and still leads by three to Bob's number in second crackled in third Yorkshire Rock the first of the purple jacketed horses is in fourth as they get over that next one with uh, Wild Neat moving forward as well then closest to us is Bobby XL roundabouts get a little bit closer Motown Man is next then Significance who's recovered from that mistake and a gap of three lengths back to Caesar's wife who in reality does really need three miles but it's Belmore Stone who is in the lead, leading by about four to Bob's number in second and crackled third. Then comes Yorkshire Rock fourth and Bobby XL fifth with Wild Knight and Motown Man after that one and then roundabout just tucked in behind with behind that one significance and a gap of three to Caesar's wife as they get over number seven. All safely over that one and making their way to the eighth with just a little more than a mile and a half still to go. Uh, that fence number eight then all safely over that one as well all jumping nicely with Belmore Stone enjoying a six length lead to Bobby XL his stable companion who's moved through into second crackled his third then out fence nine of the leader made another mistake and so too did Wild Neat so one or two of them starting to take a few liberties with the fences Belmore Stone's hit two now as he gets down to the tenth he jumped that one nicely though and in second place crackled also jumps it well as they come past the winning post again then with one more circuit of this Foss last trap to go and the bonus trials day will then be at a close and it's Belmore Stone who leads by three lengths to Crackled in second Bob's number is third and Bobby XL is four Motown Man is five and Significance is six and then Yorkshire Rock is seven and Roundabout is eight and then Wild Neat and finally the only grey in the field Caesar's wife at the back of the pack so Belmore Stone has led all the way so far then there's just a little more than a mile still to race and Belmore Stone is in the lead by two lengths to Crackled in second Bobby XL third Significance is now going really well in fourth having recorded from that early mistake Bobby XL and Bob's number together as they take number 11 and over that one they go the roundabout and sees his wife the stable mates are now both struggling out the back but it's Belmore Stone in the lead as they get to number 12 over that one they go and mistake there oh there's a fall and roundabout's gone roundabout on ship the pilot at the back the other one that made the mistake was crackled who's still there in third though as they get to this ditch and over that one they go really good jump there by significance and Yorkshire Rock crackled also jumped in much better but Belmore Stone He's still in the lead. They come to the 14th. And he's gone there. That one's gone. Yorkshire Rock's gone. So a second faller. Or should I say a second unseated rider. That one looked to be going particularly well for David Hooley as well as they take the 15th. Another mistake by Crackled. And now Significance has come through to challenge for the lead. It's Belmore Stone on the inside as they begin this long sweeping turn into the straight for the final time today. And Belmore Stone by a head. Two Significance in second. Crackled is in third. Bobby XL fourth. Motown Man is next. Then Wild Neat Caesars. One of his runners 
coming on from the back. Bob's number suddenly dropped out the back. But it's Belmore Stone who's kicked on again in front. Belmore Stone in the lead. Suddenly significance comes under pressure and stable mate. World Neat is the one that's coming around the outside to throw down the challenge. Next, I think Crackle is still running on well. Also getting into it again now. Motor Man over that one they go. That was the 16th. They've only got three more to take. And it's... Belmore Stone, who's still in front from Crackled in second. Wild Neat Significance over to third. That's Belmore Stone stood off and again. Surely he's not going to recover from that mistake this time. And it's the Craig Allen pair that go on. Can Craig Allen take the final four races of the day? Wild Neat Significance there over that one. There's a fur lot to go. There's only one more fence to take. Motown Man trying to challenge. Crackle trying to challenge. But it's Significance and Wild Neat up the final fence. Significance. Wild Neat jumped it better. And it's Wild Neat on the Significance on the inside. He's just getting up there. And Significance is going to take it. Significance Wild Neat is second, Crackle, Belmore, Stone, Bobby, Excel, Motown Man, all the way back to Caesar's wife. And Craig Allen gave everybody a head start today, but he took the final four races. And another one too. But they're all finishing pretty close up though, so plenty to be encouraged about when the handicap's start in the season proper for everybody else. I think significance the winner for Craig Allen. Wild Neat for the same trainer was second. Bobby XL for Graham Clutterbuck third. Motown Man for David Hooley fourth. And Crackled for Alex Cherry was fifth. That was your bonus trials race meeting from Foss. Last where we go next I can't remember but I'm sure it's sometime later in the month.